Hi, good morning, my dear students. I'm Daphne Kong. Welcome to my discussions. Today we will discuss about hybridizations. Today we will focus on how to calculate the number of sigma bond and pi bond of an atom in a molecule. Then we will discuss how to determine the hybridizations of an atom in a molecule too. Now let's go to the first part. How are we going to determine the number of sigma bond and pi bond of an atom in a molecule? My dear students, there are two questions in our discussions today. This is the questions one. From these questions, we need to determine the number of sigma bonds and pi bond in benzoyl nitrile. So, before we answer these questions, let's see how are we going to determine uh, the number of sigma bond and pi bond in a molecule. At first, draw the Lewis structure of the molecule. Then, always bear in mind that basically we have three types of bonds. There are single, double and triple bonds. And they are made up of sigma bonds and pi bonds. Usually, first bond is sigma bond. The subsequent bond is always pi bond. That's why if S bonded to Y or single bond, it will be one sigma bond. If the molecule contains double bonds, then it will be one sigma bond and one pi bond. If S triple bonded to Y, it will be one sigma bond and two pi bonds. Always bear in mind that the dative bond is single bond, it will be one sigma bond. Let's go back to the questions one. At first, we draw the Lewis structure of the benzoyl nitrile. From the Lewis structure, there are nine single bonds, so it will be nine sigma bond. And there are three double bonds, it will be three sigma bonds and three pi bonds there is a triple bond which is made up of one sigma bond and two pi bonds therefore there are total 13 sigma bonds and five pi bonds in the molecule next we go to the questions two From the questions, we need to determine the hybridizations of the center atom for each of the following molecules. In order to determine the hybridizations of atom, we only consider the number of sigma bonds and the number of lone pair around that atom. After we determine the answer from the calculations, we can get the type of hybridizations of the atom by referring the following table. Now, let's come back to the questions 2 by referring to the options A. At first, we draw the Lewis structure of the molecule. Then, determine the sigma bonds and lone pair electrons in the molecule. After determining the number of sigma bond and lone pair electrons, which is 4, and referring to the following table, we can make a conclusion that the hybridization of the nitrogen atom is equal to sp3. We use the same step to determine the hybridization for options B, C, and D. As a conclusion, to determine the hybridizations of certain atom, we need to draw the Lewis structures of the molecule and determine the number of sigma bond and lone pair around that atom. That's all for our discussions today.